Hello everyone, what is up? My name is John Hammond and welcome back. This video is actually a 100 uh, times speed time lapse of, of uh, the Hack Yukon uh, event that I went to this, this past weekend. So Hack Yukon is an event at the University of Connecticut and it's a hackathon. And we have never been to a hackathon, like myself and my team and the, the crew that I go to school with here. We've never been to a hackathon before. Um, so I want to like record what I had done. This is actually a 10 hour time lapse and uh, obviously there's some time where I'm not by the computer. So uh, you may just have a couple seconds of hang where I'm either at my lock screen or I'm just away from the keyboard or whatever. So I'm, I'm sorry for these delays like this, but hopefully it doesn't last too long and it just gets back in the action. So uh, we've never been to a hackathon before. Um, we are pretty much like a cyber team, like a cyber security team. So I'm more used to, we are more used to like traditional, like capture the flag, CTF style uh, games or competitions. So like a Jeopardy style game or attack defense game that are all like cyber security, attack, uh, like good and evil, stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I, good and evil is not the right word for it, but you kind of know what I mean. And it's like, uh, I, I had to explain this to a lot of people as we were there. Um, it's, uh, you see technology, you understand technology, and you want to break it. You're trying to find vulnerabilities and exploits for like a capture the flag game or something like that. Uh, when it's a hackathon, you see technology and you uh, understand it and you want to build something with it. Um, and okay, that's new to us. It's still it's still like a you need to know like computer science and software development and a lot of information technology to be in cybersecurity and play CTF. So that's why we thought, well, okay, hey, we'll try this too. Uh, hackathon, enjoy it. So this is what we put together. We created this idea, um, trying to solve a problem. The the theme for HackUCon was uh, sports and games. So we came up with a solution that, hey, you know, um, sports stadiums. When you when if you as a fan go to a sports stadium, you want to get your food like to you as fast as possible. You don't want to wait in line, wait a half hour for a hot dog, and miss like half the half the game, all the highlights, whatever. Um, so we thought of this kind of like Uber Eats for the stadium, you know, like have a communication platform, maybe on your mobile app or, or a website, something easy where you can just say, hey, I know, I'm at like the Gillette Stadium. Uh, I really want some Dunkin' Donuts or something, and then you would get uh, a, a food runner or someone just trying to trying to bus or serve food um, to go order that for you and deliver it to your seat. You'd submit your seat for it. Um, so we developed this pretty much. I wrote a lot of the software for it, or at least, and I, I did this in Flask and cause really that's, that's all I know on it. Admittedly, I like, I would have loved to have made a real Android app or iOS application, but I'm just not as familiar with the, the languages to whip this out in a 24 hour time period. Um, so I just ran through building it uh, like this. And honestly, we were a little kind of disappointed and upset. And I, I'm sorry, I, I hate feeling like a sore loser or stuff like that. But like, obviously, there were winners, and it was a competition. And the people that had won, or when we were seeing everyone else's presentation, a lot of times it was more for the kind of the the entrepreneur business side of it, like the um, just trying to introduce a concept and talk about their idea and talk about how you would market it and stuff like that. But a lot of teams did not put the technology behind it. They didn't actually make it. Um, you'd show like, oh, here are some pictures of what we would expect to see for interface, but they don't put the pieces together or build anything for real. There were some that made some like serious stuff with like, uh, there were obviously Arduinos and, and stuff that they, they encourage the hardware and like the real world physical aspect to it for kind of a hackathon that you're used to, embedded systems and stuff like that. They actually, <laughs> they wanted to provide Raspberry Pis, but uh, forgot the SD cards. So <laughs> no, all, all the Raspberry Pis they had for us were pretty much null and void. And my team, we wanted to bring some of our own equipment like a beagle bone or raspberry pie but we got there late and it was just kind of a like off the cuff event but whatever so this is me trying to still run through it uh i don't know if you saw me earlier in like a youtube page and a uh it, it was a twitter page because there was this idea that we had seen before like another company tried this but it looked like it just kind of fell off the face of the earth and it didn't work like their application only had a thousand uh like less than a thousand downloads on the android app store um their website hasn't been updated it, their copyright was 2017 or i don't know I'm, you would expect like a php thing or some some server side thing to update your copyright for you um <laughs> I commented on the video that, that you may have seen and just like, hey, is this still a thing? Like, did this succeed? And the guy responded with the website link. <laughs> um, so I said, okay, uh, how many stadiums are, are you selling this to? And I don't know if it, it was actually a real question or not, whatever. You can see me doing some Arduino stuff right there. We actually try to integrate hardware just seeing like, oh, are you physically in a seat? Is there a light sensor or something that you activate? And uh, we're trying to run through it. So I, I went to this guy's website and tried to set up uh, like a contact form for myself and just to see what would happen. And I got an email um, from them 
<laughs> just saying, hey, we'll contact you shortly. And I thought that was hysterical. Like, I mean, I don't even know if this is a real thing. But hey, it's an idea uh, that we brought together for this hackathon. Uh, it seemed to be well-received. A lot of people liked it. It was simple. And it made for some pretty good video content and quality. I, I hope you guys like running through this. Um, and this was uh, pretty much everything we put together in a video. So I'm running out of time here, uh, at least on the, the time lapse. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys don't mind just listening to me and showcasing stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you soon.